Hello and welcome to a new tutorial. Today I will show you how to create a rocket with Adobe Illustrator. So as preparation as always I created here a set of colors which I will use in this tutorial. I will first add all of them to my swatches panel. Therefore I just select everything and create a new folder. So, and then as first step, I need the body of the rocket. Therefore, I will create an ellipse, a select the size of 200, of a width with 200, and the height of 480. So, this is our base for our rocket. So, first of all, we select the direct selection tool and change this anchor point from round to to a point anchor point and the button one two so this is our base for our rocket next we create the top of the rocket therefore we just create a rectangle put it like this Uh, copy our front, paste in the front, select both, and then we can select the shape builder tool and remove everything we don't need. So we then will change the color of the top to a dark red. So as next step we will create the engine. Therefore we start with something quite similar. So go to the bottom, just remove the lower button of our body. Again selecting the shape builder tool pressing Alt or Option and just removing this part. Next, we'll zoom in a little bit. We again create a rectangle, make a little bit over this part. Again, Object, Edit Copy, Edit Paste in front. So we have a new copy of this one and select both parts and the shape builder remove by pressing alt the upper part and this the rest of the rectangle then we select this button part and make it a little bit smaller by pressing shift and alt at the same time we make sure that the ratio does not change and put it to the bottom of the original part. So we now change the color of this one. Does not fit perfectly so just let me make a little bit better. So, so this is our engine. Next we will create a window. Therefore we just select the ellipse tool, create an ellipse, pressing shift and making make it like this go to the appearance panel select the center of this one for our light blue and add a stroke in the same color as for the engine make it a little bit bigger like this 
Hmm. Maybe even a little bit more, like 10 pixels. Make sure this one is in the center. Maybe a little bit up. Good. So we have the main part of our body done. So next we create the sides of the rocket. We therefore create select the rectangle tool, create a rectangle starting from here, maybe like this. Okay, remove this one, select the red color, select the direct selection tool, select the top anchor point, move it a little bit, oh, just select the red, move it a little bit down and a little bit to the center. Like this. So now go to the layers panel, select the path which we just created and put it to the button. Everything. Okay. So then again select the direct selection tool, select the lower anchor point, and we will make it a little bit more like this. Maybe make it a little bit more like this. Yes, this looks good. And maybe put this a little bit higher. Okay, cool. So this is one side. Next, we will create a copy of this one for the other side. We therefore select the refraction tool, then press Alt, select the center point of our window. You already see, okay, we have perfect copy. And press copy, and we are done. So the main part of our rocket is done now. Next, we will create the frame of the engine. Therefore, we again select the ellipse tool. We create a small ellipse. Like this, here at the center. Make sure it's more or less in the middle. Change the color to the light yellow and select the direct direct and select the direct selection tool the lower anchor point and convert the selected anchor point to a corner so then we just select the bottom part and make it a little bit longer so this is the main part of our flame. So we, we repeat the process by creating another ellipse. Select the second color. And we actually move the ellipse already below the other one so that we can see how it looks. We again select the direct selection tool, convert the anchor point to a, a corner. Yes, this already looks good. And we do it a third time. Select the orange color, move it below the other two parts. it like here, select the anchor point, okay, 
So, ich denke jetzt noch ins Center. So, now it's in the center. So, now we can select all three parts and just move it down below. Below everything. With the order. So now we see we have our flame. So the last one is a little bit small. We might increase it a little bit by pressing Alt. Both sides get increased in the same size. So and I think the complete flame is might be a little bit small. So let's make it a little bit bigger. Yes, this looks good. So this is the end of the first part. If you liked it, please subscribe and like the video. And of course, check out the second part for the final steps of our rocket. See you there.